Boom, gang. The Euros start tomorrow. Are you excited? I'm bloody excited. Uh, according to FM, Portugal will win it, which is a bit of a shame, I guess, but uh, good for them. Um, whether it happens in real life, I very much doubt it since they're in the group of death, but you never know with Mr. Cristiano up front. But uh, yeah, in game, they've now won it twice in a row, which is nice for them. But uh, yeah, roll the intro because we got the championship. Welcome back, fellow football freaks. Are you crazy here for some more Danish Dynamite action? And uh, yeah, we really are Dynamite at the moment. Um, actually beat Burnley and Brighton. Whoa, so amazing. But uh, yeah, those are the only two matches we've played since. Uh, our thrilling 3-2 versus FC Copenhagen. We had another... Th I, I, I don't know what's wrong. 2-0 up against Brighton. Absolutely crushing them. Then they scored twice in five minutes and... It was getting tense, but uh, we did get saved in the 93rd minute by Filip Bungo. So that was a bit terrifying. I don't know why we're playing so... Like, look at 3-2, 3-2, 4-3, 2-3. Three, 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 three. I mean, oh, it's so terrifying. The Burnley one, 3-0. Easy peasy, right? Burnley are, like, absolutely shocking. They are 18th, but um, not having a good season. So that was to be expected, but... <sighs> I guess we're having a decent season. It's third. We are third, that is. Um, lost four... Of course. I mean, three big teams, actually. And then Watford, of course. Watford OOP. Everyone knows that. But, uh, yeah, today we're going to do a Champions League special. So I'm just going to play CSK in Moscow and then Borussia Dortmund at the end. So we'll do, we'll skip the Leeds match because who, who, who cares about Leeds? Come on, come on. Not even the Leeds fans. Actually, I, don't, I have no idea. So sorry if you are a fan of Leeds. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's get into some Champions League action. And this is the team that's going to do it. Hopefully win. Uh, it's going to be Jakobsen, Hansen, Nelson, Nelson uh, at the back because Andreas Christensen needs a bit of a rest. Uh, Senna will be in goal, of course. Ralf Pilsen is going to play on left back because, well, the other uh, Paulsen also needs a bit of a rest. But, I mean, look how promising this dude actually looks. And uh, yeah, he played versus Burnley as well and uh, yeah, made a great goal. Uh, sadly, it was it was an own goal for the demo or whatever credited. But uh, yeah. Narci Chukwani, Boon Larsen, Damsko on the wings, and then Bongo is going to get the start today because, well, he played well last time, last match when I put him on, and um, frankly, Benjamin Jensen has not been finding his form recently, and um, yeah, Fagi up front, so should be fairly straightforward. I mean, we're home versus CSK Moscow, right? Easy peasy, surely. Right, and it is kickoff! So, nice and easy win, surely. What could possibly go wrong? They do have some Danish players, actually, CSK in Moscow, like this guy, Markus Ingvartsen, who's not amazing, and we never had him, to be fair, but, um, yeah. They also have Simon Kea, our um, oldie defender, uh, but he's, uh, I checked, he's actually suspended for this match, and then, then they are starting with Mr., where is he? Probably this guy. Philip Billing in the middle. Where is he? Come on. Okay, finally. I mean, I clicked him, but then it disappeared again. So that's good. There he is, Philip Billing. So no doubt he's going to score. Or, and of course, they still have Akinfeyev in goal. I just checked, he's 37. I thought he would be like 45 by now, but uh, <laughs> it's so strange. But uh, okay, now they're coming forward. Yedlin, the best right back in. Are you taking the Mickey here? So, Thordason. That is how you pronounce it. Thordason. Um, yeah, the best. Some sort of I'm not. Is he a striker on loan from Milan? Uh, what? Uh, so we're one 0 down after 13 minutes. That is um, that's wonderful news. Yetlin just and um, yeah, Thor does on. Yes, yes. Of course, I am half Icelandic, so I do know. I mean, I don't. I, I pretend to know how to um, pronounce Icelandic names as well. Right, well, hopefully a highlight for us. I mean, you never know, but uh, again, it starts with the throw-in. It always seems to do us. And then uh, Pilsen is up. Ooh, go on then. Naughty. Someone surely shoot from there. Just don't lose it and get countered upon. That would be that. Okay. Nice recycling play. Go on. Overlap. Oh, we keep going into the middle there. Pilsen now. Dumps go. Surely someone. I mean, I'm falling asleep here. Bungo. We just can't find the, like, the last pass. Is it Fagir? We need Fagir to run deep. There he goes. I mean, that was beautiful then. Considering it ended up in a goal, that was beautiful play. 
very patient and we don't even have work on the work ball into box on but we certainly were doing that right there very patient play that that pass there is beautiful Fakir finally makes the run and it just cracks open the defense nicely done all right of course another throw in you know what that means goals bun goes in oh he scores again nicely done Philip Bongo is really like, I don't know, he just seems a bit underwhelming, like I said, but I guess he's just quietly developing there, so um, might be a superstar for us. Of course, he is struggling with the fact that Benjamin Jensen is literally like a wonder kid and playing in his position, but yeah, you never know, and Bongo can play up front, so he's a very good player to have knocking around, isn't it? I just remembered as well, they have Sean Mikael Zeddy. Who was absolutely amazing for one year or something, how many years ago? But then he went to Fulham and it broke him mentally and physically as 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 it would any person. Sorry, Fulham fans. Fulham fans and Leeds fans are just getting a pounding this game or this episode. Sorry for that. I don't mean it. Right, well, here we are. Apparently already in again. That was some sick. Six, 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 passing, I was going to say. I forgot words there for a second. But Boon Larsen then trots home. So Pillarsen, is he involved in any way? Let's just say he is. Back to Chukwani, and then he just launches it forward to Boon Larsen. Great little first touch there, and then just pings it in. Nicely done. See, we do play some lovely football once in a while. I guess it... What the heck? They have Pep Beal? Is that Pep Guardiola and Jessica Beal's sun or something almost 70 minutes gone and not much else has happened i'm gonna make some changes here some of our players are starting to get knackered so Christensen is gonna replace jakobsen and what else what else Do, can we put narty oh no we can't ah, god damn it see we're really struggling with our players these days well what scope can come on for dumps go on and we'll change these two around we're just really struggling for fitness and we have some injuries like what was that? Is that? I mean, that looked weird. Look at the goalkeeper! He's just getting up there. I can fail. Why, why are you doing that? Surely your stamina is not good enough for that. But, uh, is it penalty? I, honestly, I didn't even really see the instant. No penalty. Well, thank you very much. So, that's great news. Um, And then, nothing. So, that was a highlight. That was actually a highlight, lads. I'm so glad that... Uh, yeah, yeah, VAR. I mean, VAR is, can be interesting, but like in this certain, why are we seeing it? The highlight is literally just VAR. There, there's no point behind it as I'm doing the last save. Uh, save, change, punt is going to come on for uh, Boon Larsen out on the left. Just some fresh legs out there. Run at them and uh, yeah, let's tell them to focus. Focus! Of course, they're going to absolutely hate that and will probably concede, but that's how it works. Okay, Chukwani, yes, good job, good job. And now, kind of just launches it forward. Okay, Christensen has it. No funny business. Of course, yeah, we are prone. We're definitely going to concede, I feel like. So, we need one more to stay safe, I feel. Bunga! <gasps> How did he miss that? How on earth did he manage to miss that? I don't want to man mark anything. Go away. Right, and there you have it. 3-1 winners. I mean, we, c we went down, but then we did play pretty darn well, I would have to say. So, yeah. Good win, lads. Let's go. Sure, all that. Give them the praise. And uh, yeah, so we are still top. But um, yeah, of course, anything can happen with Borussia Dortmund. I mean, if they win, then they go top, right? Because of head to head. But uh, yeah. So let's just fast forward to that one because that's the one that really matters, right? Right, little bonus info. This is super interesting news to read. So Manchester United lead European top league player development, right? And top. Uh, Produced the most football is currently earning a living playing in the top divisions in the Europe. Okay, that's maybe to be expected, right? They have a good academy. But look at this then. Number two is FC Midtjylland from Denmark. Number four, I guess, then, is FC Nordsjælland. And then we are on the list as well with 35. And then Buenbu as well. Like, Buenbu has more than Manchester City. Midtjylland and Nordsjælland have more than Barcelona and Ajax. Well, Arsenal, but who cares about that one? But <clears throat> that is very, very interesting. I've never seen that before. And... Yeah, I don't know. Danes, we are on there. I mean, I guess it also technically is like Southampton, right? Because of the history. I think this goes back, right? This is historically. But it's very interesting to see that the Danish teams are up there. I 
certainly didn't expect that, but, um, yeah. Be right back. <clears throat> Welcome back, lads. And, a uh, bit of interesting news again. Hansen considered major contender for a war. So our amazing defender, Kim Hansen, uh, is actually one of the favorites, apparently, to win the world under, like, the golden ball, I assume that one is, right? Also, along with Fagia and Steno, uh, Duke Bellingham in there as well, who's probably slightly better than all of them, and Gravenbach. Uh, but, uh, yeah, pretty in pretty exciting news. And, yeah, same goes for here. Euro oh, actually, this one, European Golden Boy Award. Uh, Fagia is up there in terms of, uh, and also Kim Hansen and Steno. So, uh, pretty interesting, but, uh, yeah, of course, we did play the Leeds match, which, uh, yeah, as expected, we got absolutely steamrolled. We played like absolute dog poo poo. Like, um, yeah, not much to say. I'm glad we didn't show it because it was literally us passing the ball to Leeds all game. So that was fun. But um, hopefully we're not going to repeat that versus Dortmund. This is going to be a team that plays lots better. Now, it did rotate a little bit versus Leeds because of, like, you can see people are still knackered and injured and all sorts. Like, it's, yeah, we are pretty tired. Speaking of, uh, actually, some of them are, but yeah, we're going to play like this. It's going to be Jakobsen. Christensen, Nelson, Paulson at the back because our, well, Kim Hudson is actually struggling as well, so he can't even play. Uh, also, I gave him a new contract. He's been whining about it for God knows how long, and uh, yeah, I finally gave him a new contract. Well, he finally accepted the one I was offering, so that's good. Tie him down for more. Same actually goes for Bungo and Benjamin Jensen, both AMCs, so that's good. Um, but yeah, Hoibia Nazi in the middle, Bun Larsen, Damsko, and then, like I said, Bunsko in behind Fagir. Should be, should be good enough to to play well. <laughs> I don't know what to expect anymore. It's so frustrating right now. We're playing some very strange football, I would say. As also the lighting here is being really weird. My camera. Thank you. Thank you for that camera. Now I can actually see myself and you can see my beautiful, beautiful face. Um, Are we underdogs? I mean, okay, fine. Let's say we are. Now remember, we absolutely smashed them in the first match, but somehow ended up drawing 2-2, which was very... Annoying. They have Kinsey Coleman. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I guess we'll do some tackling on um, Bellingham as well, since he's uh, apparently the best young player in the world. Um, but uh, yeah, we absolutely dominated them last time, so it's very annoying that we didn't win that match. And um, yeah, of course, if they just win, they will go top of the group because of, well, head to head, which is very frustrating. But forgive him. I mean, that is rubbish. Rubbish. I mean, the angle was a bit. Uh, questionable, I guess. So, if you can't hate on them too much, but that was rubbish. Okay, let's just encourage. I mean, as you can see here, as long as we draw, that's fine. We win the group. Easy peasy. Right. Well, that is half time. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm not happy. That is literally up there in terms of the most boring halves of football ever. And Nicholas Narty really is struggling. So, good thing we have Chukwani now. Also, good thing we have Hoybea back. back. He's finally back. He has been. Sorely missed, I feel like. Um, especially since we th all the other midfielders were also injured. So it was basically Chukwani and Narchi playing every match. And I couldn't even change. Like So they are proper knackered. Um, but uh, yeah, Hoibia is finally back. Which is lovely, lovely, lovely. But um, let's see if it actually does a positive thing. As Bellingham just drives Gabriel Hayes to... I mean, is it just going to be two versus like six people? Okay. Okay, I guess Coleman did arrive, so it was three versus our entire defense, but they just kind of did whatever they wanted, which is not what you want to see, right? Emmy now still has the ball after that. Okay, Fagia, there's an option here. Is it just going to end the highlight like that? No, no, no. Okay, I mean, he's very alone, right? Come on, then. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, it just did that thing again. Paulson was out on the right taking the bloody throw in. Why is that? I changed that ages ago. Oh my god, and there. Dortmund, I mean, he's back now at least, but yeah. Also, it starts with a throw in, right? Every single chance starts with a throw in. What is that going on? Like, I mean, yeah, go on, Bungo. I don't know why you passed it there, but sure, Damko, driving forward. Go on, cross it, cross it. Cross, please cross it. Just cross it. Larsen hits massively over, massively over. <sighs> okay, are they gonna bottle it there? Guess not. We're just, what is going on? We're playing like absolute crap recently. Good defending there at least. 
I mean, we've gained some results here and there, don't get me wrong, but, but I'm watching the whole thing and we're just playing really, really badly. I don't know, if just having a dip in form, I, it's I, like the winter period is coming and we are also, like we are knackered all the time. Maybe that's just a bit of a, <laughs> crying out loud, a dip in form. So, yeah, we, we are very fortunate when we win, unless it's Burnley, of course, that was easy peasy, but... I mean, look at this. So, so we're obviously knackered, but they're, like, look how they're playing. They're just playing so badly. And it's not like it's nil nil. How are they playing this badly? I don't. Okay, Benjamin Jensen comes on. Dumb score is just honestly, Dumb score has been terrible in every single match. Yeah, he's not starting the next match. That's for sure. Oh no, Paulson again out on the right. I need to fix that. <laughs> Mm. Uh, look how open he is! Like, uh, we are not Bellingham. <sighs> Stinnacle saves it and actually catches it. That was surprising. I mean, just look how terrible we are. Uh, we are admittedly having shots apparently, but we haven't seen. I guess we have actually seen a few of them, like proper clear-cut chances, and we just throw the ball away like that. It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. Okay, well, it's going to be a boring nil-nil draw, which is perfectly fine with me. <sighs> I'm actually going to say I'm not happy. That was shockingly bad. We should have definitely scored, but they probably should have well. So, let's be real. We we're probably a bit fortunate to draw that one. Um, yeah, not good at all, though. But, um, yeah, let's come back to the draw, I guess. That was definitely, definitely fortunate. Fortunate. Von Larsen now, of course, is injured. Anyone else is injured? Andreas Paulsen, five to seven days. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, and everyone's knackered, of course. And what is it? Oh, okay, we are in December. But see, like, everyone is just getting so tired. Three days. I'm going to have to just rest the boys two days or something. Because this is getting mental. Yeah, rest them two days. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's going to be a draw. Oh. The, dr the next round is not going to be drawn for ages, well, like two weeks or something, but... So, we should just come back with some more, well, football. I'm not quite sure what we're going to come back with. But, uh, yeah, I shall figure that out, and then we shall be back, hopefully tomorrow. But there's so much EuroCup stuff going on, so, um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all that, and, uh, yeah, till next time.